Hi Taurus, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'm Annalisa and I'm doing a monthly spread for you to see what's going on for April 2019. So this is a general spread. I'm going to look into relationship, career, spirituality and health and a kind of general reading. And then I'm going to um, expand on anything, usually love, <laughs> um, over on my Vimeo channel to see what's going on uh, on a, uh, a deeper level within that. So, but whatever kind of themes come up that seems the most important for you this month, I'll extend over there. But this is a general look at what's happening. So, um, let's begin. I'm just going to lay the cards out and then I'm going to speak to you. So March, the previous month or um, couple of months, you've, I feel you've made a decision, two of wands, you have, you have, it's like you were holding lots of options previously, there were lots of things available to you and you couldn't quite decide, but you've made a choice, you've made a decision of, to let something go, to allow in something that feels like a bigger potential, um, opens more opportunities, something that is going to um, expand your life, expand your understanding, bring you a sense of richness. So you've, you've been through that process and as a result of that, it's like things have come into balance. You've got the justice card as the lesson you've learned. So it's very much about, it could be about karma. It could feel like a karmic thing, something coming into balance. It may have been a difficult choice to make, but you've done it and it's brought things into balance, into a sense of fairness, okay, maybe for you or for someone else, it could go either way, that you felt things were unfair for you and they've come into balance, or someone else felt that and it's come into balance, so it's been this kind of evening, this um, decision, evening, very practical choice of actually changing something. This month we've got as what you're hoping for is potentially some travel or movement, this could be um, a, a new location, a new job, a new, a new something, moving to a new space. This could just be you wanting to move into a new state of awareness, a new um, way of being. And what is going to help you do that this month is standing in your practical power. So really being aware of the practicalities of what you want to do, creating the foundations, making a plan, a really stable plan a strategy of how to put things into effect. What could stop you, what could be um, difficult for you in doing that is your inability to let go of certain mindsets or thoughts. You may be stuck in the past as something that you need to let go of. You're not able to and and you're not able to kind of discern between the truth and, and the um, like what's actually going on in your mind and what the truth of the situation is like some misunderstanding or conflict and you can't quite let it go. But very much the the way that you're going to move forward this month is about just you being in your solid, strong power. This can also be about taking care of yourself, like self-nurturing, self-love, about really uh, taking some time to be grounded. You know, this is, this is earth energy. It's you. It's you standing into your power and looking after yourself. Because actually... Spirit is saying this isn't necessarily the time to do a new project because there may be something from the past that you're still overcoming, you're still letting go of. You may have had some disappointment around um, a male figure. This could be a boss, a father figure, family male figure or a male partner, but someone has um, not been the king you thought they were or you have not been the king you thought you were. There's maybe some disappointment. Um, around that or, or a need to step out of this um, father energy and there needs to be some time maybe for kind of some processing of something. In terms of uh, your love life we've got the devil. I'm going to get some clarifiers for these now. Um, this this 
could be a very strong sexual attraction. You could be feeling quite um, uh, a little bit horny this month. <laughs> like a feeling like you want to um, see some, some kind of physical action. You, you want to get what you want. You want to feel satisfied. You it could be you just want to have fun. This can be anything from a quite playful level to a kind of a uh, little bit darker energy. So let's get the clarifier to see what this is about. <clears throat> yeah, you <laughs> got the King of Cups, right? You, it's like you know what you want, and you don't really want to stop at anything to get it. Um, very, very determined. Very 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 focused on, on a particular either on a particular individual or knowing exactly what you want like I've been with this person that person I've had this I've had that I want this I know exactly what I want now that's what I'm going and I don't want anything else yeah and there could be some some fight, some kind of battle, some disagreement about that, potentially with someone, about not being able to create what you want, not getting the harmony that you want, or it, it maybe that is coming up this month, this need to overcome um, fighting for something and to actually just allow what wants to come in. It's that letting go of the need to control and, and allow in some new idea, some new inspiration. We've got the Ace of Pentacles wants to come in, okay? And this, I feel this is very, you know, connected with this, your, your Queen of Pentacles energy. It's just like allowing yourself to just be and allowing for things to just come to you rather than fighting for what you want, okay? This month, be aware of that need to control and instead try to allow things in. In terms of your work, I've got the Page of Swords in reverse. Like, it, I feel you're dissatisfied. Again, I feel you're very, you know what you want. You want to be wealthy. You want to be successful. You, you want to have riches. You want to have luxury. You know, you're a tourist. You want that nice, you know, these lovely different feelings of fabrics and softness and to feel like you're, you are wealthy. And if you're just not feeling that, you're feeling this um, unsatisfied with where you are. not being able to um, okay I'm, so I'm getting through a couple of different messages for different people some of you are feeling very dissatisfied you know what you want and you are basically in a sense of maybe kind of bitching about your work complaining about it a lot like saying a lot of negative stuff you might be feeling like it's really not what you want but you do know what you do want, okay, and and you have a sense of where it's going. So you may be sticking with something, even if you don't like it, because you know there's a good outcome at the end of it. You know that um, it's going to produce some riches. You know, you may be in a job because you want the money, and even though you don't like it, you're going to stick with it because you want you want the money, because you want the financial support. You want that um, security of, of wealth in your life. Some of you, it, it's slightly different, okay? For some of you, you are actually appreciating. You're learning to appreciate where you are because of the security it gives you. Even if, you, even if you're struggling with it or it's challenging, it's, you're learning to find the value in it and um, 
accept it. But it, it's very similar, a very similar kind of understanding, but a different, slightly different feel, you know, that for some of you, it's like, well, I'm just going to get on with it. I don't really care. I'm just going to get for the money. And some of you, it's like, actually, this is really good because I can get the money from it. So coming into that kind of mindset, being aware of that this month. Also in April for your health, we've got the lovers in reverse. There we go. Get some clarifiers on this. You may feel like um Your body is changing or your health is changing like there's some um i've got the, the clarifying is the queen of pentacles in reverse in the death card so i feel like there's you may be really aware of aging in your body and and it may be a struggle to kind of appreciate it and love your body like it not feeling you might not feel at home in your body and Yeah, this, just this dissatisfaction, you know, with how, how it appears or how it's working. And then maybe this need to kind of go through a transformation with your connection with your body this month. Yeah, coming into balance. Okay, so this need to, um, to really, you know, I love this in terms of body. This is such a beautiful card. You know, you're coming into a balanced understanding about bodies, you know, acceptance that things change, you know, that things move, that sometimes things are not how you want them to be, that um, some things about your body you can't change, but you just have to learn to love, and that's part of the, the kind of lesson of life about having a body is about coming into a state of appreciation with it. I just, I want to share, I went to a, um, uh, I, I was in Berlin at the weekend, and I went to a sauna, um, very, very, very big spa there, and um, I was in a room with about 50 people, all completely naked in the sauna, and it was absolutely amazing, you know, to see the different body shapes and sizes and absolutely everything, and it was so beautiful because, you know, there's a couple of people who have amazing, like, perfect bodies, but most people just have different bodies, they're just different, but they were all, like, because everyone was just kind of Kind of comfortable I would say like 95% of the people there were just very comfortable being naked and just in who they were and it was very very powerful in terms of accepting well this is you know that's how they are you know they've got really amazing big boobs but they've got a really amazing bum or you know whatever it is it's just like there's just this appeal in different bodies and it was very very powerful for me so I feel like you know it's this appreciation of who you are um, an understanding of who you are, so, you know, trying to focus on that this month is going to be really helpful for you. In terms of your um, inner fulfillment, you've got that Eight of Swords, so I feel like you've got this, this is spirituality and inner fulfillment. You've got some anxieties and feeling maybe a little bit trapped, like it's hard to appreciate things, it's hard to to you know value your body or your work or to get what you want it's like this you may feel like there's this kind of um you kind of feel a bit trapped and this is this reason why you want to escape this month it's like you want to move out of this feeling and really um it's very important for you to Yeah, I think you have this critical mind. There's a, a potential for you to be quite critical with the King of Swords and very clear about, or, or um, clear or like black and white thinking, like this, this way or that way, wrong or right, want, don't want. And and that actually creates this, like, um, you know, it's useful in a way to be very clear on what you think. That can be very powerful. But what you have to be aware of when that creates anger in you or frustration that you just end up fighting with yourself and you come into this queen of wands in reverse who's just like lashing out and just a little bit tempestuous and, and 
you know, a bit wild and controllable in a not very healthy way because ultimately that's affecting you and coming back to you. Okay. Let's have a little look at what to focus on in the kind of lessons. Clarifiers. So the, I feel like in terms of this month, the, the kind of guidance, some of the guidance for you this month is the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. So I feel like it's not necessarily the time to start a new project, to start something new, to kind of jump into something um, because you haven't quite um, transitioned from a previous state. It's like... It's a transition month. It's interesting. It's similar to Aries. It's this month of transition, of moving from old ways of thinking, ways of being, letting things go and moving into something. It's like maybe May is going to be more the time for actually things to start, change and move. Right now, there might be a little bit more time needed to process and let go of the old because you've also got, as your kind of where you're going this month, is the Six of Swords, you know, um, so it's like this looking to the future, but still being reminiscent of the past. The lesson this month is about the emperor in reverse. So, um, this, you know, this something that's not coming through or, or some, you know, someone or yourself who's like not able to stand fully in their power. Okay. I get a few advice cards for you. And then over on Vimeo, I'm going to go into, um, I'll go in and do a, a more in-depth love reading. So look a little bit more at this attachment and this connection and just understand that on a deeper level and get some advice cards for you, you know, looking at the, the kind of blocks and the um, influences, that kind of stuff and some advice. Okay, so in terms of your general advice for this month, Okay, so to um, have some love with yourself, you've got the dog and the novice, that you are, I feel like in maybe some like new process, you're kind of being reborn, there's some new things that are happening that, or a new way of being that you are, it's, it's a little bit unstable, so it's very much about getting grounded this month into the, the new understandings and things that you've been going through and to really love yourself, to really unconditionally and sincerely connect with who you are and your worth and who you are because you are wealth, okay? You are wealthy, you are abundant, you are rich, you have all this um, available to you and just to reconnect and remember that. And even, you know, some of you, it might even be they spend some time with animals, with dogs or animals, because they remind you just, you know, dogs just bound, you know, they're bound up and they love you and they're licking you and they'll do anything for someone that they're, they're so unconditional. So being around animals and then the horse came up as well. So if you like horses too, connecting with horse energy, dog energy, very, very strong and powerful. Horse is also about connecting with other people, asking for help, delegating um, jobs if you've got too much on. Uh, working as a team, okay, so so connecting with other people to, to help you this month. Anything else else for Taurus? Okay. No. All right there, so thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to do go deeper into the, the love reading, then follow the Vimeo link below. Otherwise, um, thank you so much. You can book a personal reading below. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you next time.